is your glass half empty or half full when it comes to the economy or the real estate market specifically? I come from the school of thought that my glass is half full. I do not believe that the sky is falling when it comes to our economy, specifically our real estate market. Um, I think that what is happening right now with both, it, it needed to happen. Um, the real estate market needed to balance out and inflation definitely needed to get wrangled in. Um, you know, when COVID first happened, everybody thought, Everything was gonna crash. The government pumped a bunch of money into the economy. The economy went out and spent the money. Inflation went up, price of houses went up, all the things went up. Um, now the real estate market is balancing out. Inflation is coming into some sort of contr more control these days um, and it needed to happen. So when I talk about the real estate market today, and what is happening with our stats specifically in our area, I please understand I am not half empty, sky is falling, it's just what is happening and it actually needed to happen. A couple of things that we need to think about when we're talking about our buyers, and when I say our buyers, I mean the state of Florida. Um, there are two things that they are contending with right now when they are looking at homes and that are, it's causing a huge effect on the price bracket that they're able to look in. And that's our homeowner's insurance and the mortgage rates, which mortgage rates are for everybody across the country. Here in the state of Florida, homeowner's insurance is on the rise and it is causing a lot of buyers to have to lower their price bracket in order to keep that monthly payment where it needs to be because the homeowner's insurance is increasing that monthly payment that they're gonna to have to pay. Right now, lenders are working on products for buyers and they're going into a home with a monthly payment to kind of help ease the burden of the homeowner's insurance and the fluctuating mortgage rates. What is happening in our local real estate market right now? And when I say our local real estate market, I mean mine. Destin, Florida and the surrounding areas, whatever our local MLS area encompasses, that's what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> I will say this, last year at the beginning of 2022, so January 2022, I sat down, I opened my computer and pulled up our local MLS search engine. We had 1,500 active listings for the whole area, the whole MLS area, which is nothing especially when you compare it to the number of agents we have, which is 5,000 plus. That was at the beginning of last year. Fall of last year, I opened up my MLS search engine. We have 3,500 active listings, which is good. That means the competition is, sorting to, is starting to balance out. It's not necessarily just competitive for buyers, it's competitive for sellers now as well. Right now, we have 3,200 list active listings for our local MLS. I do not know how many active agents we have, but I guarantee you they're dropping like flies. I'm gonna uh, go over some stats for our local area just to give you an overall picture of what the market is doing right now, the real estate market. Um, and when I go over these numbers, I'm talking about single family residents only, and I'm comparing December of 2021 to December of 2022. So it's a year to date kind of um, comparison for the real estate market. Um, I will say that overall sales are down like 40 by 44%. So that's almost half of what was happening a year ago. Um, so that's, that's a huge number. And again, when I talk about these numbers, <clears throat> I do believe that we, our, our market needed to balance out and that is what is happening right now. Uh, another interesting number to look at is our cash sales are actually up from December of 2021 to December of 22. And that ties back into what I was going over with the um, homeowner's insurance and the fluctuating mortgage rates. Cash buyers have an advantage over buyers who need to have a mortgage tied to the purchase of their home. Some other important numbers to look at when you're going over the stats for our real estate market today, it's gonna be your average list price. It's up by a little bit, only about 2%, um, which means that it's we're getting a little bit more control on what sellers are 
looking to to list their houses at. I expect to see that to drop over this the course of this next year. Um, another important number is dollar volume. We are down by about 45%. Um, and another thing to look at is the um, percent of list, um, the percent of list price to purchase price. So last year we were at 100% or even more. And right now we're down to about 96%. So that means people are, buyers are able to negotiate right now. So a seller is asking for 300,000 and they're getting about 96% of that 300,000. So again, the competition is balancing out. There's a little bit more competition for sellers. It's not all on the buyer's shoulders trying to get into that home. Other important numbers to look at, the time a home is sitting on the market, and that's about a month right now, and that is okay. It's okay to have your put your house on the market and it sit there for a couple weeks to a month versus two days. Um, we're also gonna see right now pending inventory, pending sales, and new listings are down while what we have active on the market right now is up. It's t it ties back into more houses being on the market and sitting there a little longer, giving buyers a chance to see what's out there. Um, another really important number to look at is our active months of inventory. So that means how many months of inventory do we have in our MLS right now? Uh, December of 2021, we did not even have a month's worth of inventory. Huge seller's market. December of 2022, we have almost two months of inventory where again, it's not, we're not in a buyer's market, but we're heading in a, <clears throat> we are heading in the direction of a more balanced market. When you see about four to six months of inventory in the MLS, that's when you have a truly balanced market. So we are going in that direction. A couple buyers who I've been working with right now are looking at condos or homes. Um, and I just want to use these two as an example because I feel like it's, um, I'm, I'm giving, I'm doing this for sellers out there. Okay. So I have a buyer looking at a condo. She is ready. She is ready to buy a condo. She puts an offer in. It's a little low, but not too bad. Seller doesn't even counter and declines the offer. Okay. Buyer comes back and says, okay, I get it. And makes an offer of less than 1% off from asking price, agrees to um, pay for the title insurance and fees, and only asks that seller counter on repair limits. Didn't even counter. The seller did not even counter. So I am baffled at this, first of all. I'm telling you sellers, at least counter on these offers because you, we are trending towards a buyer's market or a more balanced market, I should say. And you do not get everybody's unborn children right now, okay? Another example, there's a house that goes on the market. It is a complete redo, 100%. I don't even think it would pass an appraisal. It's listed at more than what other homes that are similar to that on same streets and neighborhoods which have already been redone, it's listed at more than what they're selling at right now. So these are these it's just a couple examples of what not to do when you're selling your home. Look at the market. What are homes actually selling for? You are not gonna get everything that you ask for anymore. Not right now, not in this market, not the way that things are trending. If you have a good offer, at least counter if you wanna sell. So in closing, again, when I talk about these numbers and what's happening with our real estate market today in our area specifically, I am not, I do not think that the sky is falling. I do not think that the economy and real estate market are going to crash. I do believe that everything need to balance, needed to balance out. And I, I believe that that is what is actually happening. Um, so again, sellers, time to be a little bit more realistic buyers we know you're contending with um, a couple things that are making it a little bit more difficult to get into those um, loans or mortgages lenders are working very hard to come up with products and things that will help you with that 
Um, but this is my um, real estate market update for today. Uh, we will see you again next Thursday. Thank you so much. Bye.